What's up everyone, welcome, welcome back. As you can tell from the title and from the scenery, I have a little bit of a different video for you today. Today we're gonna to be comparing our homegrown recent harvest to a couple eighths from the dispensary. Now this is a video I've wanted to do for a while, but I've just never gotten around to it. So I am on my way there now, to be honest, only gonna get like two eighths, probably spend around $100. It just kills me paying almost $60 an eighth after taxes and I do have weed at home, so. But for content purposes, I'm gonna grab a couple and we'll use that to compare. All right, I have secured the bag. It ended up costing me $108 with taxes, so about $54 an eighth out the door. Now, obviously that's really expensive. Depending on where you are, the dispensary may be cheaper or it may be more expensive, so comment below what the prices are like for you. Okay, so this is the Frosted Jungle that we recently harvested here. We actually grew this together on the channel, so if you're interested, be sure to check my other videos out. So let's crack this thing open and see what we got. All right, so before we do this, I just wanna say, I'm not trying to brag or say my butt is better than the dispensary, although I do believe that wholeheartedly. The point of this video is that you can produce at the very least the same quality of what you're overpaying for. So a common thing I find at the dispensary is getting eighths with borderline popcorn nugs, which just means the nugs aren't fully developed. It looks like we were lucky enough to get some pretty decent eighths today, but if you follow me on Instagram, you can see that that is not always the case. So I tried to make this as fair as possible. I had mostly bigger nugs, so I tried to pull some smalls to even it out with theirs. So the first one we're going to look at is NF1. This is Northern Lights crossed with Chemdog, which I've actually bought before and I knew it was good, so I got it again. And it does look pretty good. The nose on it isn't that crazy, but it's really nice and dense. And overall, I'd be happy paying for this at a better price. Second from the dispensary, we have Sour Chills, which is a cross with ChemD and Sour D crossed with Chills. And I like the looks of this one a lot more. We have some nice orange colors and the smell is a lot stronger. On our side, we have Frosted Jungle, which is Frosted Cake crossed with Jungle Cake. A little bit more exotic, I would say. Most of the strains at the dispensary are kind of basic. Like, even the crosses are just two basic strains crossed together for the most part. But I'm sure that's not true everywhere. Now, I'm not going to go too crazy into comparing the taste and smell and smoke of each just because I could literally say anything. So I just wanted to compare some looks because that's something you can see for yourself. So I know that was a quick one, but I will see you guys again at the end of the week for episode two of the Sea Junkie Run. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you are subscribed and I will see you guys soon. Stay up, stay high. Peace.